Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to Diamond Art Waddell. Today we have an unboxing video and I have a couple of products here I'd like to show you. These ones were kindly sent to me free for review from Your Best Deals. So thank you, Your Best Deals, for sending out some products to me. Uh, we'll get stuck straight in. Uh, we've got two today to have a look at. So two diamond paintings. So we're going to pop that one to the side. So how are we all going today? I hope we're having a great day as we have a look at these beautiful products from your best deals all right let's have a look at the first one shall we now this one has a dust cover and i'm going to find the end of it very soon now i will link all these products in the description box and i really cannot find the end of this thing there we are there we go just finding the end of the dust cover So this one is a 30 by 40 canvas. It's going on. Stick. And a little bit different style to what I normally would get. But I was thinking of my son when I was looking at these ones. I thought it'd be perfect for his room. This one has a little basic um, kit to keep you going. Yeah, and it is a round drill kit, so that's pretty cool. So this is a 30 by 40 canvas. Um, yeah, just relax the canvas a little bit. We'll have a look at all its drill field and everything like that. Now I will link these products for you in the description box, so you can check all that out, and of course the website, so you can also check. Um, all the products they have as well because they're a nice budget friendly store your best deals and i've had some really nice products from them there we go so this one has 21 colors and as you can see it is a image of a, a controller uh, from a playstation or or xbox or whatever those you know those sort of type controllers and my son is very much into games as i would assume a lot of other people have got um you know people they know into gaming so i thought this would be a really neat sort of image to put up in his room or on his door it's kind of cool um sort of graphics of it with the x and all the symbols the circles and the triangles and so forth symbolizing that so i thought it was kind of cool now i've got um two charts both are both are very uh, clear in their printing. Symbols are bits and pieces. Uh, I've got some letters. I've got some has symbols, some ticks, all sorts of little things, some hearts even. So a little bit of a mixed bag. So we'll have a bit closer look at all of that. And they said DMC code. So we're going to come in closer. Just to have a look at the actual print on the canvas now. Now this um very dark type of canvas so i've got that negative print i've got a nice cover of glue you can see that nice shine nice stick and the symbols are all printed in the negative from pretty much the majority of this piece they are fairly nice and clear very readable A bit of a halo on some of these uh, white ones with the uh, purples and stuff behind them, especially where it's got a, that sort of glow and, and light colors, I suppose, of the neons in the image, so it gives it that effect, but still quite um, readable. Quite right, good, quite right, good. And put that cover down so I don't stick myself to it. Now this is the actual legend or table, whatever you like to call it. And you can see this is nice and clearly printed. If anything, the symbols are probably a little bit off center. So that may um, have your drills might poke a little bit of the symbol out the side, maybe. That's the possibility. But other than that, they are 
nice and clear. And you say you've got your DMC codes and stuff down the side as well. So if you need to match them for any reason, you can do that. And as I said, 21 colours. So it'll be a very interesting um, one to do, actually. That will turn out. Very dark, lots of dark blacks and so forth in here. 310, I can see, is going to be common. 939 is also another dark um, colour used in this diamond painting. And But I have got these really bright reds and greens and so forth so it'll be very interesting how well that uh like the word play and things come out hopefully good enough yeah that's pretty much a look at that canvas and again the charting the same on the other side they're only it's only a small 30 by 40 canvas it's not the image got quite a good border on this one it's uh, a little bit more of a stiffer kind of canvas, not quite as flexible as some, but pretty much standard. Uh, it has the little bit of glitter in there as well. If you can sort of catch the light the right way, you might see it. I don't think it's going to come up, but it's there. As you can see, that is your size and your thumbnail. Oops. There we go. Yeah. So that is that image there. And I thought that was kind of cool for a teenage boy's room, honestly. Perfect for him. All right, let's have a look at its drills. Yeah, I'm just going to pop that down there. Now, these ones are round, as I said at the start. And I have just the silvery blue packaging, which is normally pretty good, honestly. I don't find I have too much trouble with rubbish and things with these types. Okay, number one a long big train of drills. So what we have on the packaging is just the item number, so you can match that to your canvas. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll do that. So you've got NY137, and you can see that on your drills there is the same, NY137, so you know your drills and your canvas match together. And then I've just got the um, one, two, three, etc. Uh, for my drills. If it stops shining, you'll be able to see that. And the numbers are nice and big, so that's quite good too. Nice big numbers written on there. Makes it a bit easier to see. But we'll have a quick look at um, some of the drills. Keep catching the light the wrong way. And we'll have a look at some colours and things like that. Now, I might just come in a bit better. That might be a bit better lighting if I do it this way. Now I've got some really dark purples and so forth there. The drills are looking pretty good. Nice and clean. And we're going to our 310, our black. A little splash of that red here and there that goes through. Some more deep purples and blues. And there's other reds with some bright colours here and there. Just this little highlights, and some pink. Some really strong greens. Some interesting colours that are in this diamond painting, even though it's very dark. Some light blues, and splashes of it here and there and everywhere. And pale greens even. So yeah, there we go. And that's all the different colours. So even though it's very dark, it's still got a lot of colours, I think, in that. Interesting. So 21. So that is all our drills for that one. Mm -hmm. Quite a long trail of drills. Very good. And they look nice. Not too bad at all. Alrighty. I'm just going to pop these ones back into the container. Back again. There we go. There we go. Roll the foley.
that one. Is it that one? All right, so that's that one. We'll go on to our other. I'm going to zoom back out. Doo -doo. Okay, so I've got another one here to show you. Um, and this one is going to be a similar style. This one is actually in a little bubble wrap pipe sleeve. I'm just going to open it that way with the scissors because it's really stuck down nice and tight. It's a protective sleeve for that one. This is a stiff, sort of standard sort of stiff canvas. It is going to be a 30 by 40 as well. And we're sticking to the same sort of thing for these ones. And I have this one that says game on and it has a controller. And this one has round drills as well and a very standard um, pen tray and wax kit. There you go to get started. So this is a 30 by 40 canvas. There's going to be a lot of dark colours. It's not exactly solid though. I can see a bit of, um, I've got B's and W's in my symbols there in the background. So it's not going to be quite all just multi-placer straight away. Got a really nice shine of blue on there. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful shiny blue. Nice coverage. This one only has 18 colours and DMC coating. Two tables. So pretty much the same sort of layout as before. I have drills stuck to my table and it's annoying me. Go away. There we go. Let's try and smooth out those bubbles and things I just made. Whoops. All right. Might just go out just a fraction more so we can see that a little bit better. There we are. So as you can see, I've got a nice big writing in this image. It says game on and I have a controller there for your game consoles. We'll just say it that way. Um, and I thought this one also would go well with the previous and look really kind of cool either on the door or in his room or something like that and decorate the room really nicely because we are very into our games <laughs> and uh, I thought this would be very appropriate. So this is something I just thought was very different um, I found on the website. I just thought, you know, they looked kind of fun, a little bit different. Um, yeah, on something I could do up and show you guys how they look like, but also something I could put up and, and decorate, you know, the home with as well, which is what these things are for. Alrighty, we'll start just up here, 30 by 40, and I have a thumbnail. I'm looking through the canvas, the backwards way of this one. I've got a shadow effect getting from the camera. That's a bad spot I'm in. It's the same spot, but I've, I've set myself up funny. I have my charting here, and I'm going to zoom down to that because I think that'll be easier. As you can see, I have 18 colours, the DMC codes, but this one has all lettering for its symbols, so that's nice and easy on the table. We've got some dark, obviously lots of Bs, which are three tens, and we've got Ws of a nine three nine, so lots of dark colours involved in this for the background. But then I've got some nice bright greens and things so throw in there. Having a look at your symbols, as you can see, they've got a lot of negative prints for this black. And they're printed quite clearly. My lettering is huge. They're quite big. So I think they will come up really nicely. Uh, pretty much a single colour. There's only a little bit here and there. If you can see those little P's. And that just to give a bit of an outline. So they're pretty much a single colour. Um, when you're doing that up. If you wanted to. You could always you know, just change some of the drills. If you felt that it was a bit... Uh, to enclosed here with the M if the red was working or something like that as you're doing it up but that could be a personal choice you know you can just alter that as you go if you felt you needed to there's a little bit of flicker of color through the E there's nothing to say you couldn't um, use spare drills for example and just do a big 
uh, red rhinestone M just for fun, you know, just something like that, just to make it look a little bit different and sparkly, just for something different. Um, just something I was thinking of. Uh, the O is, is pretty much a solid case, and this N as well. There we go. So it's fairly solid in its colouring. It's not a lot of shading or whatnot. Uh, a little bit in this background, though, does sort of weave the W and the Bs around here. So that's probably going to be, might go a bit cross-eyed trying to look at that. So it is 310 and 939. So really the dark colours, if you happen to misplace the wrong ones, I don't think it would make much difference to the outcome in the end. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. And yeah, this is pretty much a good solid black background some people don't like that I'm not a some sometimes I don't mind just plugging away at a nice big solid area like that it's just very relaxing because you don't have to actually worry about what where you you know you're just covering filling in a space so it's kind of good some find it sometimes it can be very tedious so you have to be in the mood I think for that sort of stuff yeah okay. anyway, on a small canvas like this it's not too bad really big ones it can be a bit harder uh, this is, again is your charting and it's nice and clearly printed on your bottom right side of your canvas. There you go. I think that's pretty nice looking, um, a pretty nice looking uh, diamond painting honestly for what it is. These weren't very dear. I can't remember exactly, but let's say they're all very budget-friendly kits from your best deal. So they are always a good place to look for if you're just looking for some, you know, a bit of crafty fun and you have you are on a bit of a budget and you want something that's going to be still of good quality. I've found them, they have some really nice things. Hmm. Alrighty, I'm going to pop that one just to the side. And I'll show you its drills. They're quite good. I'll let them sit under some books and things as well for a little while. Because I say they are a little bit thicker canvas. The usual sort you get from these sort of stores. Nothing too out of the ordinary. And where is the edge of this? There we go. So you bring it right up close to your eyes. So I can see it. Let's take that out of there. Now let's get this. This is another big train of drills coming at you. Oop, and a little caboose fell off the end. Oh, bonus one. Awesome. So I had this one fall out. This is some two, so that's obviously some extra blacks just for fun. Oop, that's the other end. Wrong end, wrong end, wrong end. Go the other way. Okay. Go this way. So again, um, just the information that's on your drills. I have just the one, two, and so forth. And then of course I have my code, which is NH265. And we'll just check. That's what we have on our canvas NH265 and they match so we know our drills and our canvas uh, belong with each other usually they do so every now and again you don't um, so our first color is beautiful yellow but just before I flip over I'll just show you I've got one two three of two of the number two which is our wonderful 310 DMC 310 and then I had this little friendly caboose of two more packets of two come out so I've actually in total have five packets of black for this canvas now I know it's got a lot of black in the background but I feel, still feel that is a very generous amount of black for 30 by 40 so I don't think I'll have any issues there so I won't worry about bringing back the caboose but I don't think but just to let you know that's not just these three there's actually the, five in total so i think that's a very generous amount of black i don't think i'm going to have any issues there i know you can go for a lot of black on the canvas that size but i think we're going to be right 
That's pretty good. All right, I'm going to come back down a bit closer so we can have a look at them. Look at these lovely drills. Now, as I said, this uh, grey-blue strippy usually has some really clean, decent drills with a bit of shine. You get the odd dimply bits, but other than that, it's on the bottom. We don't see that. That's all the black. That's boring. Keep moving. Um, we've got some grey. They're pretty good. Um, these are pretty good. Pretty good drills, aren't they? Some grey colour contains. We've got some very vibrant reds. So obviously these very vibrant colours are used in the wording. Some more along the train. A little bit of pale green one there that stands out. Some blue. Some pink even. Some more brighter blues and some nice white for that little letter E and that's in the controller. There you go. And of course, don't forget Icarus. There you go. So that is the 18 colours for this one. They don't look too bad either. Quite happy with that. So I'm going to put the big train of my drill. So round drill project for both of those. Uh, I find I like the round drill projects. They're nice and quick. Well, quicker. I find it easier to work with. And they have a usually good effect. So I'm happy with them. I cannot fold that up at all. That was terrible. Ah. That, oh my goodness. I'm failing pretty badly today. All right, leave that alone. Stop making so much noise. All right, so that's the two I've got to show today. Just want to quickly come and show you these two because I thought they're kind of cool. And then I can start flattening them out and then I might be able to get to them eventually, hopefully sooner than later. But yeah, we got um, some gaming style diamond paintings. I thought they were a little bit different style and very unique um, type of diamond painting. And I thought that was kind of something maybe you know you might be interested in or know someone you could make this as a gift um, christmas is around the corner so you're always looking for something different to give someone and i thought well you know if you get the ideas flowing now you got time to actually uh, get something in and and maybe you know do something like this and make it into a gift and frame it and give it to someone for christmas or something like that so i thought these were pretty awesome I like the style. There was a few other ones in this kind of genre of gaming and stuff. So check out the website. I'll add, of course, the website link and the links to these two in the description box for you guys. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed having a look at these two little bit different diamond paintings with me today. And I'd like to say thank you very much uh, for your best deal for sending them to me. And thank you guys for coming here and sharing this with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in my next one. See you soon. Stay crafty, people. Bye for now.